Hello, welcome to Answers TV. My name is Jack. He is the Maltese Falcon. That was very bland, a bit of playing from me. But I'm going to uh, hopefully coax out a little bit more than that out of the new Behringer K2. Behringer K2. Quite obviously inspired by a vintage synthesizer, let's say MS20. They've been killing the game Behringer recently. This one and a monophonic synth, I find it hard personally to, to demo and to show off with the limited time we have here. So what I thought might be nice, I'll just give you a standard run through of the oscillators and filters and what they sound like. And hopefully that's of some use. It shouldn't take too long. Let's have a listen. We've got a mixer here, VCO level one. And sorry if it's not very really clear on the camera. It's actually, it's quite a stark and stoically designed synthesizer from them. We're going to start off with a triangle wave and uh, hear what that sounds like. Going to flick to the saw. Square wave. With the pulse of this. It's really thin and disappears up there. We've got some noise. Oh! I'm gonna go back there. Let's test out the range of the oscillator. We're down on the 32 footage down here. Whoa! We can get a bit more range out the second oscillator, which has different wave forms. So let's listen to that. I'm gonna turn that down, bring up. VCO2, start with the first waveform, we'll whack it down to 16. Square. Slightly smaller square. Ooh, lovely and nasal that one, and um, we've got a ring mod. This one goes up a bit higher as well. For our canine listeners out there. Let's put two together, a classic one for me. Sorry if it's boring, but I do love the sound of two sawways beating off against each other. So we're gonna put those, uh, let's put one at eight, or well, one at 16, one at 32. Change that up to an 8 and that to a 16. Maybe a nice dense waveform to hear how this filter works. You've got two filters in there, a high pass, which is traditionally very boring. This is that. Resonance on that as well. Oh, some visceral sounds. This is going to jump in. Behringer, they've been proving that these are not lesser than the original. In some cases, they're even more. Let's go to the low pass filter on the same sound. Just going to do a slow sweep so you can hear what that sounds like. See if it's got the aggression of that original filter. We're going to go to five on the. It's labelled peak here, but you might as well see it as resonance. Crank it up all the way. Def 
definitely got a mean industrial sound. Filter one, filter two. God, tell me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I could go read the manual. I'm not gonna lie. Let's hear what this sounds like if, if I walked in the shop. I'm presuming it's a different type of filter or maybe a different revision. I know nothing. Okay, let's sweep on filter one and hear is if we can hear a difference. Same on filter two. Maybe some resonance. We're gonna put it at seven, maybe that brings out some character. Filter two. Well, they sound great, both of them. Let me know, I'm sure that I'll read about this posthumously and find out where I went wrong. We can do some modulations. We've got an envelope. Maybe I'm gonna just flick to me making up some patches and you can hear some audio. If you like what we're doing here, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna keep this short and snappy because everyone's got to this one first out there. Uh, just to let you know, we've got them in here and we are really happy with the Behringer since I think I saw something on social media this morning that said, you know, I woke, who would have thought I'd wake up in 2020 and Behringer would be leading the synth market? Imagine if you had been frozen in, <laughs> in uh, 2010, you would have not foreseen how much they've come out of the gate. So congratulations to Behringer. Let's listen to some patches, yo. Thank you.